Today's video, we're talking about Solana, the future of web scalable blockchains, speed of light transactions, and more. Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah. So each, each block, you can still see the screen. Yeah. All right. So like each block of soul account, like each staking account has its own identity. So this is cool. Like, whereas if I, this account, this staking account is 26.66 soul and it's delegated to P2P validator. This account, should I choose to stake it, will not be, even if I also stake it to P2P validator, P2P.org, I'm pretty sure it's not going to, let's see, like, it's not gonna, I, I have to create a new account. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's not like on Kraken where it just adds it to your existing staking pool. Right. Like, I'm pretty sure I need to deposit a certain number of soul into this account into a staking account. So let's see, for example, let's just try 46.90. Cause you need to keep some for like bonding I've read. Now they're not actually enabled. They haven't actually enabled inflation yet. So I'm not actually going to get any Solana for this, but whenever they do, I'll get it. So it takes an one Epic for me to actually go online. Well, I think this is a good point to talk about like which validator you use. So, you know, we were talking about the uh, validator staking and the rewards you get, but also the slashing that can happen if you fake blocks or, or, yeah, offline or if, you're, if, you, if, the, if the validator that you've chosen to stake with goes offline or something, you could lose some of your, some of your stake value. So, uh, yeah, that's a good point. So, I mean, like if I'm like, let's say I have 32 ETH, right. And I'm my own validator and like, I lose connection to the internet for a bit because my power I lose power or like I have a bad I have Comcast and their internet sucks so it goes out every once in a while I'm losing I'm literally putting my ETH at risk by doing so by not having a hundred percent stable uptime connection all the time right yeah especially because if you if you go down kind of like you know like you said if you lose internet every you know say once every day let's go with that um, you might get kicked off as a validator just because you don't have a stable internet. You're not there the amount of time they kind of require. And yeah, and you know, losing. You take. Yeah, and lose your lose your 32 ETH because of it. So, you know, I think for that reason, I will not yeah. be posting my own <laughs> validator. I mean, yeah, it definitely sucks to give away half of it. I mean, literally, like, because the half of it, the balance is a reward is 15, I believe, right? for p2p.org yeah. yeah i think that's what it said yeah that that's... might honestly be a a good topic to do an entire video on just like how to choose because that like that goes across all kind of blockchains really it definitely definitely i think so and we'll uh we'll cover that in another one let's that's i'm gonna write that down um <laughs> in the future video we'll put in, in the future guys if you're watching this in the future we will post that right down below. There's a video, click that below on how to pick a good validator for your proof of stake. So, um, yeah, so it's 15% with P2P org, but they take seven, but I feel like they're taking my rewards, but I'm not, I'm not super concerned about losing. Um, I'm not concerned about losing the principle that I have, you know, they've only missed 0.11 of all blocks which seems to have the lowest like it looks like everything is missing some maybe that's normal either way they have 246 different delegators of which i am now two <laughs> should i yeah you know, when it really you... comes down to it getting some is better than getting none so i'd rather stake with a validator and not have to go off of uh do all my own work and setting up my own node. 
and you know maybe pay a little fee it's really not a big deal in the in the end of things yeah I, i'm looking at this uh melia you see this one zero percent fee they have 126 delegators only 0.11 i mean they've actually missed like basically the same amount of blocks bison trails has missed even less Is there a way to see how long they've been on? The ETH2 Pioneer program, powered by Bison Trails. So looks like they're going to be one of the people doing validators for ETH2.0. Okay, that's a good sign. That means they've got some facilities in place, you know. I think for this, I'm just going to continue with P2P org. Unless you feel like we should. Yeah, no, might as well. I yeah. haven't really looked into these enough. Yeah, I mean, the only other one that, I mean, this one has, this is, this is, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> this one's 100% fee, so yeah, that seems like a great idea. Um, this one's zero, but again, you know, I, w I feel like this one's probably okay because of the fact that they have so many, right? 126 delegators. And that's yeah, a big difference. Like that's, that's in the middling. Like, it's not the most, but it's also significantly above the smaller amount. I mean, they're the third biggest. They're the third biggest. Yeah, they're right. Yeah, they're right there. And they have. They don't have. They're the third biggest as far as a uh, number of delegators. Certainly not the biggest as far as size. 2% versus P2P's 10. I just wanna, I'm interested in this Melia one. I just never heard of it. Looks like they have IrisNet, Kava. Hover over secret, is that secret token? Is it? I've never heard of that. Secret network? Oh my goodness, there's another one. <laughs> secret. I heard I heard a secret secret a couple weeks ago, and it, from what I remember, it was pretty interesting. But I couldn't find any uh, too much information, so I didn't dig too deeply. You heard a secret? Yeah. Damn, dude, why'd you keep it a secret? <laughs> and that's why you come to DeFi Daily for the dad puns. For the dad puns, toward the soul. Is this uh this is not the uh, what I'm looking for? Tortisol, here we go. Developers, validators. Meet our validators. I'm looking for a list. Number one validator on Tortisol. This says Solana Beach. That's what we want to check. Uh oh. Oh, so Solana Beach is saying cumulative stake above can halt the network, improve decentralization, and delegate to validators below. So it's saying like, hey, these people have way too, these six validators have way too large of the network. Way too large percent of the network. Right. You want to, you definitely want to spread that out a little bit more. All right, well then let's do it with Melia because you know honestly they uh, they uh, they 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 don't charge a fee anyway. So zero percent fee Melia staking pool. Let's send it. Here we go, and. Not quite the speed of light, you know. <laughs> All right, we are delegated, dude. So we are in the activating stage. So as you can see, I've delegated this one a while ago, but we are in the activating stage here. So that's it. In a day or so, my stake here will be uh, will be active, 
And then when the moment that Solana inflation is turned on, I'll be able to start getting inflation. We'll start pulling in those sweet, sweet rewards. Sweet, sweet crypto rewards. Turn on date. Let's see what it says. Timeline. Here we go. Solana timeline. The price guarantee is 19 cents. Oh, it's $2 now, dude. It's guaranteed to be 19 cents. It's $2. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, there is no timeline as to when inflationary awards might be enabled. Classic. <laughs> two weeks down the line right so guys that's what we wanted to go through today real quick before we wrap up i want to let you know that we're working on lots of different things behind the scenes here at DeFi daily one of which may be a name change coming soon uh, and bringing it back to our former channels alias more to come on that but what i want to highlight right now is the uh, upcoming blog and medium section that we're adding uh, in the coming days and weeks and the new website that we've posted. So if you go to seams-legit.com, you'll see now we've got quite a new user interface. We've got our most recent YouTube tweets here, our YouTube and YouTube video and tweets rather. We've got price of Bitcoin and ETH. We've got your coin market cap top list. And then we've got our own curated uh, DeFi daily list here on the right side of projects that we're following and make sure you join in uh, the discord as well uh, but other than that I want to turn it over to Jay Dix here for a moment and just tell us more about what's coming down the uh, blog pipeline uh, in the next couple weeks and months so we've got some really exciting uh, topics lined up on the blog line um, the first one that we're kind of thinking about hoping to get out before the end of the month um, which would be quite timely is an introduction to the flare network which will bring smart contracts and DeFi to XRP, uh, which should be really exciting. The snapshot date is December 12th. Um, and so we will be coming at you with a tutorial on how to claim the Flare airdrop because you'll get your Spark tokens on a one-to-one -one ratio and there's all sorts of ways you can go about it. And we will also explain exactly what the Flare network is, how it's different from other networks, how it works and, uh, Pretty much all the benefits that'll bring to the XRP crypto should be pretty exciting, and uh, I've been working hard on it, so pretty stoked. Awesome, yeah, we're we're stoked to to see how it uh, how it all comes out, and I think what date what date did you say the flare uh, airdrop or fork or I guess whatever it's called is coming. So that takes place on December 12th. So in about a month, a little less than a month. Yeah, a little less than a month. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. We're uh, we're excited to see this. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, XRP's kind of been sleeping in this year. Uh, it hasn't really caught on. I think it's partly because of the lack of DeFi, right? That's been the big thing here. So I that's sort of what this is. Uh, going towards right players looking for a DeFi solution with the xrp style exactly it's kind of bringing utility to the network um one of the huge things that naysayers against xrp harp on is the separation between ripple the company and xrp um you know their their token and how the company itself has great value um, but many people don't see a lot in XRP because it doesn't really, right now, it's a quick way to send money, but that's about it. And this should bring a lot of utility and be able to get quick, fast, decentralized finance right on the docket. Awesome. Yeah, I'm. I, this is, I mean, XRP's been kind of quiet, but it's still there. It's still hanging around. And I think Flare is going to be interesting too. And like you said about the decentralization 
component too. It's going to be cool. So guys, make sure we'll, 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 we'll post a link whenever that blog is available uh, on medium, but uh, yeah, big stay tuned things to come. Check out our discord, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. You know where it is. Uh, if you like this video and more videos like this, we'd love to have you in the discord. Um, other than that, thanks for joining us, Jay Dix. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time on DeFi daily. Peace. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Talk to you guys later.